If you or someone you love or family member love the beach and maybe have some home decor at home that's beach themed, they're gonna love this piece. Let me show you what I have here in front of me. We're actually gonna construct a, uh, a Nautilus little luminary. Uh, I suppose it could kind of double as a little gift bag, so to speak. Um, this project should go together fairly quick for us. And um, why don't we just jump right in here. And what we want to do first is we're going to take these pieces here, okay? And we're going to begin by putting our vellum on these pieces, okay? And then we're going to construct the actual, um, construct the actual, uh, base of this thing. So let's first off, before we get too far into this, let's kind of figure out where our vellum is going to go. Okay. So the vellum pieces here are going to slightly overlap each other in various places. So I just want to lay this out so that you can see how this all works and how this all flows together. Okay. So we've got like a three toned thing going on here. And it's gonna go just like this. So you wanna find all of these pieces. And if you think you have the wrong one, just flip it over because it is vellum. So it will work. So that's the, that's the first step to what we're doing right now. We're gonna, we're gonna put our vellum on both of these pieces just like this. And then we're gonna construct the sides and then put the, put the tops on to kinda, um, finish it off. Okay. So that being said, uh, I don't think it really matters where we start. The sandwich is going to be vellum or <laughs> the sandwich is going to be vellumed. The vellum is going to be sandwiched. So it really doesn't matter um, how you go about laying the vellum down. Let's just, let's use a little dot method here and we're going to put our little Nautilus down first. So kind of work these little areas here. So the vellum has something to stick to. Okay. And we're going to repeat this process twice. One at once on each side, probably just going to walk you through it because it is kind of reversed on the other side. And I just want to make sure that you get it right the first time. So let's lay that down. Make sure you get that vellum right on top of the pattern here so that you've got the entire cutout section covered. Okay. And again, the vellum pieces are going to slightly overlap and that's by design so that we're not cutting it too thin. Okay. So that is our first little piece of vellum. <clears throat> and then let's find our next little piece. That's this guy here. So he's going to go right here. So let's just, oops, let's just get some dots on here. Now I already forgot where it goes. There we go. So that's going to go around this way. Just like that. Let's get that positioned. Make sure that you're covering all those little cutouts accurately. Okay. And if you have any little areas that are kind of poking up, do your best to get them nice and flat if possible. Okay, then we got this little piece that's gonna go right here. So again, just add your little dots all the way around where the vellum is gonna go and pop that into place. Just make sure that you're not encroaching on the other cutouts, but that you are definitely making sure that you have the rest of this covered up. Okay, so. <clears throat> And don't worry about anything else at this point other than what we're working on. Okay. All right. Let's grab this piece here. And that's where that's going to go. So again, just kind of continuing on. Man, I have some really bad short-term memory right now. Oops. Okay. You just lay that down, make sure that you've got all the little cutouts covered. And 
just press that down. And our last little piece here is gonna go right here. Let's just get some dots in here. Like that. And cover that up nicely. There we go. Okay. Okay, so you're just gonna repeat the same process with the other side here and just get your vellum on there, okay? And then we can, at this point, um, can do something uh, a little more paper piecing, I guess, so to speak, just to kind of get our feet wet before we tackle the actual assembly. Uh, what we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're gonna take this, uh, this pattern piece here and glue it down onto this piece here. Okay, so grab your glue and work that glue around this entire little cutout. You gotta work kind of quick because there's a lot of little details here. Okay, and then most importantly, you wanna make sure that your edges have enough glue to hold everything in place right at the at the seams there so nothing's kind of coming undone and it's okay if some of it spills over because we're not not worried about it getting onto anything else right now so just line that up with this piece here now this piece again this is the piece without the little tabs the vellum we put on the piece that's similar to this but without the tabs okay so just get that in place push that down is pretty much spot on that looks good okay and we take in our case we've got a gold nautilus here make sure you get the right one because there are two different uh they go in two different directions obviously you just have to follow the little pattern there you can't really get it wrong okay and just work your way around the Nautilus here. And again, make sure you get that glue right off the edge. Okay. And I'm kind of, uh, kind of looking at the center of the Nautilus to make sure that that is lining up correctly and then the rest of it should just fall into place like so. And just push that down, make sure it gets a good hold. Okay, that looks pretty good. So eventually what's gonna happen, once we construct the base, we're gonna pop this on here. It's gonna cover up all of the little um, elements that are all the little glue dots from the vellum and it's gonna make it look really nice. Um, so while we're here, we have some little um, panels that we're gonna put right on the bottom here and just wanna make sure you get the right one. Let's get that glued in place. And I emboss this with a wood grain texture embossing folder. And when you place this down, just make sure that you are aligning it so that you've got a nice even border at the bottom and at the top. And I need to kind of scooch it over just a tiny bit because I had it down too much. Okay, that looks good. And let's grab the other side. That ain't it. <clears throat> well, that's the one. Okay, so let's get our glue on the bottom of this. And then, of course, you're gonna just repeat this process on the other side. And I'm just gonna match that up as far as the horizontal line goes there with the other one. Okay, there we go. That looks good. Okay, so one side is done. And again, um, you're just gonna repeat the same process here and take the pattern piece, glue it onto this piece without the tabs. Okay, and then you're gonna put your Nautilus on top. So I'm kind of walk you through that again just to make sure you get it. And OK, 
got to work kind of quick because there's a lot going on here in this, this quick dry. Although it is my favorite. Sometimes it tends to kind of dry pretty quick. All right, so again, I'm looking at the center of the Nautilus as I put this down to get my initial alignment. I'm gonna pick it up and just kind of nudge it around a little bit to make sure that it's sitting on top of it perfectly, which it is. Okay, so there's that. And then of course, we have the Nautilus. Let's get that glued into place. I think this is probably the quickest of the three projects from our Nautical Knights bundle. Okay, and again, just focusing on that little teardrop shape in the center of the Nautilus for my initial alignment, and then I'll lift it up and kind of give it a quick little nudge in either direction to make sure that it's perfectly lined up. There we go. Okay, there we go. And of course we have our little corner pieces here. We'll get those glued down. And again, try to make sure that you have a nice even border at the bottom and on the side. Just eyeball it. And then wherever that ends up, take this one and just line it up horizontally with the other one. That looks good. There we go. Okay. So I made a lot of progress already and the rest of this is gonna kinda go together pretty quickly, I think. So let's take a look at what we have here. We've got um, one side and then another side. And I'll show you how this all goes together here in a second. What we're gonna do is we're gonna form a little base, like a little basket almost for this thing. This, these tabs here are gonna go on the outside of this piece. Okay, so here's what we wanna do. We wanna find this piece here there's two pieces like this. One has a little L cut into it. That is a liner. We'll leave that for last. And then we have this piece here. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this piece to this piece here. This is the bottom, okay? And that's gonna, actually, no, I'm sorry. This, this is the bottom. This is the side. So it's gonna kinda connect like this and it's gonna flare out this way. Okay, so either way, we need to connect this tab to this rectangular piece here, okay. And let's get that glue right out to the edge. And just line that up. And get it butted right up against those score marks. Give it a little push and you can kind of fold it over and when you run your finger along that, that edge there, they should be right on top of each other. Neither side, or this, this piece here shouldn't be over too much that way or over too much this way. It should be perfectly aligned. And that's how you know you've got it in the right spot. Okay, so again, it's gonna look like that. Now we can take this piece and do the same thing here. So let's take this and let's fold everything at the score marks so we don't have to worry about trying to do that later when everything is kind of pieced together. Okay, and I'm going to glue this to this base piece here. So let's get our glue on this tab. And get that glue right out to the edge. Okay, again, get that lined up nicely. And let's see here. 
Sorry about my head. That looks mm. good. Fold it over onto itself and kind of nudge it a little bit so that everything's nice and flush here. That's how you know you've got it nice and aligned, and I think I have it pretty much perfect there. Okay. All right. All right, so now, next step is going to be connecting this. Okay, so we want the vellum facing out. So if we kind of look at it as a final product, we want the vellum facing out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to butt this up down here, making sure that this edge here is aligned with this edge here for, of the original rectangle. And we're going to get our glue on this guy here. Maybe just a little bit right up to the edge. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way so you can see it better. Move these out of the way, get them nice and aligned. Okay, looks pretty much dead on. Pushing it up against this piece as close as I can and then just folding this over. And you'll notice that these tabs should pretty much meet flush and perfect. And that is, that is some dreaming tree engineering. Kudos to the team for being awesome and making everything so precise. Okay, let's grab our other side here. Again, make sure your vellum is out. Okay, and I'm gonna flip it around this way. Get your glue on this tab. Spread that thin and just get that lined up. You can move these tabs out of the way if it helps. You can see that, there you go. Get it nice and centered. That looks good and press that. Oh, hold on, hold on there, Nautilus. There we go, bam. Perfect, all right. So that went together nicely. Look at that. Okay. And easy parts coming up here. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to fold this up, bring these pieces in, and we're going to glue these tabs to the outside of this piece here. Okay. And then we're just going to finish it off by putting um, our faces on each side. So actually, here's what I would do. I would put a little bit of glue on this tab here. You don't have to worry about getting it all the way out to the edge or anything. Just make sure you got enough glue on there. And this first section, we can, we can do this flat, but I want to show you where it goes. Just right there, and you're going to push that down right onto the face of this piece here. Okay, so I'm just connecting it right there, and it would probably be helpful if you just put this down on your table and did it this way. Okay, just make sure that this edge right here is right into that little edge there on that face piece. Okay, just push that down, get it to stick nicely. That should do it. There we go. Now we can peel this tab back. Get some glue on this tab. Doesn't have to be perfect, just Make sure you get enough and fold that over onto the face of this. I'm going to flip this down on my table and I'm just pushing down where I had that glue on that tab. Hopefully you can see that. Let me move this out of the way. There we go. And there we go. Okay. So that is what it should begin to look like, like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So pretty straightforward construction, I think. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on this tab here. Don't need a lot, just enough to hold the structure together. I'm just going to tuck it under and just push down. Make sure that corner is nice and jam-packed into the corner there. 
and just push that down. little piece here, this little tab, take and get some glue on that, I'm going to lay that down, get that tab underneath, and push that down, there we go. All right, so one side of it is pretty much constructed and just have to repeat the same process on the other side. So flip those tabs up to allow this to kind of fall through, okay? And we can begin by putting glue on the inside of this tab. Why don't we try to do both of these at the same time here? I don't see why not. Now that everything's kind of holding together. All right, so I'm flipping the tabs back in. I'm gonna put this down on my table and I'm just gonna have to get my hands in there. You're not gonna be able to see this very well because the camera can't get in there. But I'll show you what the end result's gonna look like. But you understand what we're doing right now. We're just taking these tabs from the other side and gluing them to this, you know, the base structure here. And see here. Yeah, that worked. I may suggest probably just doing one at a time just to be more accurate, I guess. But mine came out just fine. That's pretty much dead on. Okay. Okay, now to wrap this up, I'll just put a little bit of glue on this tab here fold it over onto the face of the vellum piece. And I'm just gonna put that down on my table so that I can get some leverage there. So I'm pushing, pushing in to get that up against that liner piece and then pushing down from the inside to help that glue really penetrate and set a little bit quicker. Okay. So there we go, and then that just leaves this piece here. Let's get our glue there. I put a little bit too much on there, so I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit. And just fold that over. There's that piece right there. We're gonna put that down on our table. And just push that down. Get that to stick nicely. Okay. All right, so you see what we have here. And at this point, all that's left to do is to glue the face on both sides. Okay, so we'll do that here in just a sec. So at this point, um, we're pretty much ready to finish this thing up. <clears throat> can take our little liner and pop it inside to give this thing a little added stability. Okay, just gonna throw a little bit of glue in there. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it stays in place. That's all we're really looking for. And just push that down. There we go. <clears throat> okay, um, I guess at this point it doesn't really matter what we do. There's um, uh, there's two little, two little panels that we can put on the side here. So let's get those in place and then we can have the grand finale of putting the panels on the main structure. So we'll get those in place. That just kind of adds to it, gives it a little texture, a little more dimension. And again, this is uh, this was embossed using the that wood grain embossing folder that's been floating around for quite some time now. Okay, we'll get that on there. There we 
go. And then we also have um, this little panel here for these little starfish. Now, bear in mind that these are different on either side, so you wanna make sure you get the correct one. And also, we're gonna actually take the vellum and put it behind this piece. We don't want the vellum inside, so um, we're gonna actually sandwich it between this piece here and then glue that down onto this piece here. So you can go ahead and do that. Let's get our glue. Let me move this out of the way so there's no confusion here. Let's just get some glue down on the back side of this so that we can get our vellum in place. Okay, so just pop that right on the back of this thing. Okay, so that's what that should look like. Give that a press. Okay, and then we're gonna glue that right to this piece here. You just wanna make sure that you get it lined up nicely so it's not obstructing the little starfish that are already on there. And I'm gonna probably just focus my efforts on the perimeter here initially, and then just add a few little dots on the inside so that you kinda give it a little more of a, anchor it a little bit more. And I'm gonna hold this up and work that glue out to the very edge here so that it sits nicely. You're gonna to wanna to repeat that process on the other side as well. And remember again, to make sure that you're aligning this correctly and that you have the right piece so that you're not obstructing the starfish because these pieces are not identical on both sides. Okay. And just kind of scooch that around until you've got it locked in in the right spot. Okay. And just push that down. Okay. And again, you're going to do the same thing on this side. But for the grand finale here, we're going to put our face onto the body here. And that's just gonna involve getting glue on this entire piece here with the primary focus on the perimeter, of course. I'm just gonna start in the larger areas, work my way around my Nautilus here, perimeter, anything else you can get on the way. And then I'm gonna do one more go around concentrating on the perimeter and making sure that I'm getting everything out to the very edge so that we get a nice crisp clean contact and you can always go back in and kind of paint the edges if we didn't get enough glue in some spots but I think we'll be okay and if not you can always clean it up so grab that I'd focus on getting the bottom aligned first, making sure that you've got that all squared up, and then just kind of work your way around the rest of it, making sure that everything else matches up there nicely. And once that's set, you can put this down and push down from the inside to really get that to stay in place for you. Okay, I'll take a look at what we got here in a second. There we go. That looks nice. Really cool. And just take a look around here and see if there are any areas that may need a little extra love. Uh, I, mine doesn't, mine looks good. So I'll just repeat that same process here on this side. Okay, just get our glue all around. All around, all around. Okay. A couple spots here, and then again, let's work that perimeter. That's pretty much the most important part, I think. And don't hesitate to get a little extra glue on that outside area. And then I'm gonna spread that out all the way out to the edges 
so that we get some good contact there and it stays in place for us. And again, I am kind of just lining it up and squaring it up at the bottom, making sure that that's all nice. The rest of it literally should fall into place and it does. Okay, and I'm gonna flip this down and just push from the uh, push from the inside to get that to really, really stick. Yeah, so this one definitely, as I thought, would be probably the quickest of the three projects from our, our new Nautical Knights bundle. And can't wait to see what it's gonna look like when we light it up. And there we go. Okay, so again, don't forget to put that piece on there, but that is it. Um, I'm gonna add some little pearls throughout the uh, entire design here to make it kind of look like it's under the sea and there's some bubbles coming up. Uh, I'll throw some uh, little pearls down here at the base of the Nautilus as well. Um, so definitely take a look at the photo as well as the trailer to check out what else we did to kind of embellish this uh, this little luminary. And again, it could be a cute little uh, box. I could see some tissue paper in here as well. Uh, and then it can double as uh, a lantern. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please take a moment to visit our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Uh, and if you do make this project, definitely uh, post a photo on our group on Facebook. Hit Facebook up and do a search for um, Dreaming Tree Group. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.